Hello and welcome, Dirty William here, back with another episode of Dungeons & Dragons Online Let's Play, the Rogue Edition. We are going to be taking level 15 today. Uh, as you can see right here, I would need for level 16 1.2 million XP and some change, basically. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take level 15. I think I'm not going to be banking very much of 16, because I would like to use some of the gear that uh, I have stored away. So we're going to advance to the next level as a rogue. This is level 15. Boop. Uh, let's go to balance, uh, disable device, haggle, D -d 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 -d. hide, a little bit of jump, why not? Uh, let's see, we're going to go move silently, open lock, search and spot. I've noticed my spot, I'm not spotting some traps, so that's kind of disappointing. Um, I have a plus 10 item right now here, and also here. They don't stack, obviously. Uh, let's see, let's go ahead and move on here. Use magic device, concentration, and diplomacy because I feel like it. Next. Now, this is where we get to take improved precise shot. As you can see, requires point blank shot, yes. Precise shot, yes. A bab of plus 11, yes. And dexterity of 19. That is the reason why we put some of our beginning points into dexterity, our ability points, and whenever we went, went uh, level 4 and level 8, we put a point from our ability raise into this, just so we could take this boop. Basically what this means is I can target enemies far, far away, and anything that I shoot in between that target and myself gets shot. So it's kind of cool. Uh, what would you get? Eight hit points, a bab from 10 to 11, fort save from 4 to 5, will save from 4 to 5, more trap sense stuff, uh, another five hit points, yes. Uh, sneak attack, 19d6 sneak attack. That is just dumb. Improved price, precise shot, blah, 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 blah. Uh, all of our skill points, and we finish. Uh, five action points, noise. Uh, let's do a little control R. Get that out of my pretty face. You should know this by now. Oh god, I have done something wrong. Hi, how you doing? Crap. Really? Ah. There we go. Nope, that's not it. There we go. Aha! Got it. Nailed it. First try. Not really. Um, we're going to go ahead and take another point into rapid fire. Um, been using the crossbow. It's actually pretty, pretty decent. Uh, let's take time bomb. No, we're not taking time bomb. Um, I think that's pretty much it, all of the stuff at level 5, and I think it's about everything in this tree, honestly. Uh, no, there's two more points I need to spend. Huh, what did I what did I forget? Let me check here and see what I forgot. Ah, okay. Uh, two points uh, I wanted to spend into leg shot, so that's good. Uh, we have two more points left. Um, now, a lot of the things over here we haven't done much with, but I want to continue on up because we want this. We want this killer thingamadoodle. Uh, so, with the cores, we already have the first ones to go ahead and take the second one. What does the third one give us? Uh, target opponent loses their immunity to sneak attack. Ew. Cool down for six seconds. That means I can sneak attack things. That is... I will take that to pieces. I will accept and close just because. Um, have a bunch of junk in there. Uh, not much has changed other than I did get a plus six health belt, which is nice. Uh, has a little bit of damage on it, but it's better than nothing. Um, let's see, I also upgraded this. My Terraza's Perfect Sight um, now has True Sing. That is a very big deal because I don't want to miss opponents that are blurry or displaced or something like that. And I'm going to be heading back out to Giant Hold to do some more Giant Hold things. Um, as you can see, I'm about 25,000 XP away from level 16. I don't really want to bank anymore, um, at, at least you know in, in this area, because there's a couple things that I would like to use uh, that I have in the bank, uh, including, now like I said, I've been using this to good effect. Um, I'm still missing quite a bit because I only have, it's only a plus one weapon, and I don't have an accuracy item. Somewhere in this mess of crap, I have locked away, here it is, um, level 16, Elder's Great Crossbow of Deception. Um, it's a thing, and 
it's plus four, so I won't miss as much. So I'm trying to get to level 16 so I can use that. I also have in the bank, which I would run over and show you, but I'm not going to bother. Uh, in a previous video, I showed off that I have the uh, trinket, the uh, treasure hunter spyglass from Cove that I farmed up a long, long time ago. And I also have the nightshade venom um, repeating crossbow. And those two are very, very nice things. I want to try... I want to try out all the things, because my gear is not really that great. Um, still rocking the fortification boots, because um, gear in Heroics, you can grind it out if you want to, green steel and all that stuff. But if you're making a character to get up to epics and stay in epics, then you don't really need to grind a lot of stuff. If you plan on TRing, then you can worry about that stuff later. Uh, once you get to 20 plus, people are running Shroud. Oh, excuse me, had a yawn. People are running Shroud on their level 28. Just go in there and get some completions and get some items and goodies and craft something if you if you plan on TR. But uh, uh, these levels, at least on a first life character, go by so quickly, honestly, that uh, it's 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 not a big deal. You don't really need to grind a lot of stuff. If you plan on TR, yeah, make sure you have things for various levels and some better gear. But uh, for the most part, a first lifer can coast along pretty easily. Um, anyway, that is going to be it for this episode. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like. Until next time, this is Dirty William reminding you to do the dirty work.